Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Um, everything vaping related, it's Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders, and I'm here bringing you another quick little look at the NGP Ring Switch 18650 Genesis Hybrid device. Now, this is from uh, a company that is located in Hungary. And um, it's a very inexpensive device. We're going to get into the details. We're going to take a look at this. And then I am going to do the results of the Phoenix Rebuildable Atomizer Contest giveaway. And I want everybody to please stay tuned for the next video that I hopefully we will be doing tonight or tomorrow, depending on when I can get it done. But I have another giveaway right away back to back to this Phoenix and um, I think you will like this one um, so stay tuned and check it out my dog is barking but let's take a look at the NGP 18650 ring switch Alrighty, so here's the close-up of the NGP 18650 ring switch. So let's take a quick close look at it. Now this is a, an aluminum device and um, it's very light, a lot lighter than your stainless steel hybrids such like the uh, Zenesis or the Orion. Um, this is, it's very light, it seems like it's a thinner aluminum Let's take a quick look at it. Here's the top cap. I'm just going to take it off. Obviously, there's no drip tip in. I just wanted to show you how this is. Now, this is a, a black Delrin top that has the eight that has the 510 hole right there for your drip tip. Aluminum with a small little air hole. Now, I personally like. Whoa, not good. I personally like the air hole a little bit bigger than that. So I will probably be boring that hole out to probably about 1 16th of an inch. You notice inside the threading is pretty decent. The machining is nice. I just rinsed this out so there might be a little condensation in there. You can see inside there. Now, if you notice, there's a positive and a neg negative connector. I do not have no wick in there right now. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of making the wick, but I am going to show you how to wrap the coil on the wick. Let's discuss this tank. I'm just going to take it off. Now, it does come right off of the tube. And the tank is made out of polycarbonate. Now, you can see the leads coming down right there. Okay, here's the positive lead. It's a Phillips head screwdriver, um, screws that are in there. Now this one is raised up higher than, the, the positive is raised up higher than the negative. We have a brass ring right here. And the threading is on the plastic tank, or excuse me, the polycarbonate tank. I want you to see the threading. Okay, now that's the only thing that really really concerns me about this tank because when you if you cross thread it once you're gonna strip it out and it's not gonna be pretty but for the most part I haven't had no issues now you can see the condensation left in the tank right now because I had just flushed it out and because this does not come apart you can't unscrew it or no plug for it you actually have to take a syringe let me grab my syringe this has juice in it but what you would want to do is take it with hot water and stick it in the little hole in here not in the wick hole but in the little hole right there and just flush it out when you want to clean out your tank that's how I've been cleaning it out um, but there's a little black brass ring right here and I'm gonna explain it. that is gonna act as your uh, conductor to for the switch and there's another little o-ring 
and your positive connector there for your battery. So in here, you can see the hole for the wick directly in the center and the little fill hole, the little tiny fill hole right there. So that is pretty much the tank. Now, I think NGP sells the tank assembly not with a 510 connection like this with a 510 connection um, for just a uh, tank for so you can use it on any other device okay let's get into the bottom tube right here that's a regular typical aluminum thin aluminum little tube right here a little spring down the bottom there three vent holes the NGP sticker on it and there's a little o-ring right there now let me explain that o-ring now if you can see the ring for your switch come on okay you see the little groove on that side right there the other side does not have a groove so what you want to do with that groove side is we're going to put it down towards that o-ring let me explain how that works let me just throw this on right here okay now the switch right here is this ring now when you press it up and it comes in contact with that brass that's what activates it it's a mechanical switch so when you push it up and touch the brass it fires and if you leave it there it's gonna stay firing when you drop it down it turns off so you may want to push up pull down if it stays up there and you want to keep it nice and clean in there so if it does stay up there you don't want it to be firing but if you want to put this in your pocket you want it to lock with that o-ring you can like, twist it down onto there and now with that little groove right there it locks right in I want it to focus nicer seems like it's not focusing good okay but now it locks right on so there's your your little locking mechanism okay um but that is how the switch works it's a nice little idea very unique okay I've been having no problems with it now let me just throw a battery in and show you one more little feature okay this is an 18650 2000 milliamp hour AW IMR battery now I'm gonna put it in negative side down now remember when you put this on you want to push it down so the threads are not binding and you want to make sure that you don't strip it okay okay now you notice when I activate the switch now there's no coil or wick in there but when I activate the switch a little red light comes on now some of them have blue lights this one particularly has a red one and when you're vaping you will have that red light come on okay now if you don't want that red light on this is nice so a lot of people don't like that my dog is out there whimpering. You can take the battery and put it upside down with the positive side down. Okay. Make sure the threads are really nice there. And now it's firing and there's no red light. Okay. That's a nice little. Um, oops. It's a nice little. Uh, feature uh, but I'm gonna have the red light firing for now but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put this all the way down I'm gonna take this off and I am gonna take this off for a minute I don't know why I put that back on but I am gonna take my wick that I already have ready-made now this comes ready to be vaped so you can take your wick put it in the little center hole there and I have 32 gauge canthal and I'm just gonna wrap this let me take back out the wick real quick so I can this is how I wrap it okay let me grab the screwdriver here all right so I'm gonna take it and come right almost crisscross let me show you this really good Put a little loop in it like that. Put it on the negative. 
what I like to do is not have it come straight across, but have it come across at an angle there. Okay, now I'm going to take the negative up. Well, I want to make sure it's coming straight, like it don't bind up when I tighten it up. Tighten that up. Now I'm not going to take off the excess yet, just yet. Take the negative or the wick, and drop it in there. Now this has been a very easy device to set up as far as other Genesis um, tank systems go. Now basically I started off like that, okay. Now just want to keep the wick towards the center, but just turn the tank and give it some nice turns on there. Don't give it too much tension. Um, try to keep it straight up if you can. Okay. Make sure you turn the tank and not wrap the wire. A lot of people have that issue of wrapping the wire around the, the wick and they seem to have issues with it being too tight or too loose. All right, so once you get to this point, what I like to do is, let me see here, keep this straight up, let me see here, and bring it right over and back around this way. Okay, so you've seen that. I'm going to bring it back over and around this way. Okay, pull that over there. Just tighten that up a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this. I'm going to take off the negative one. I'll leave the positive one on just in case if I have to move it around. Now I'm just going to pull that down and straighten these out a little bit so they're nice and even okay this one right here is not even now I usually don't use the dental tool for this because I'm probably scratching the um, the wick but I do not have any more toothpicks left that I usually use so if you are using anything with a metal tip, please do not scratch your stainless steel wick. Okay. I'm just going to put this on for a second. Now I have no juice in there. What I'm going to do is just see how this fires. Now make sure this positive extra lead right here is not touching anything else. And see what we got going on here. Okay. Take it off that lock a little bit. And you see the light light up. Now just give it a little burn. You don't want to like hold it right down and get it all red, huh? I want to see it light up and see if it's lighting up nice and evenly. And it's pretty light, lighting up pretty nice. I want to show you folks, this is a really easy device to set up. It really is. Uh, a couple of people have had some issues setting it up and I couldn't understand that. little warmer than the other. Okay, that don't look too bad. Okay, so now because I'm confident in what we have, I'm going to take off the positive piece there. I'm going to take my syringe full of juice, put it right in that fill hole, squeeze it down. Okay, now I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm going to leave like a pocket of air right there. Okay. I'm going to take my, let me just give it a little juice up here on the wick. Okay, and see what we got here now. Now that we have some juice on it. Looking pretty good. No hot spots. Pretty nice. 
Okay, I'm going to put the top cap on. And my little drip tip. All right, there we go. That's the NGP18650 ring switch mod. All right, let's take a look, see how it vapes, and do that contest. Okay, so there you have it. There is the NGP18650 ring switch device. I'm setting it up real quick. This is really one of the more simpler devices to wrap the coil. Um, I haven't filled up a little bit with uh, liquid, and let me show you how it vapes. <clears throat> very nice vapor but I am going to show you one thing the air hole on this is very small very small so what I'm actually going to do <coughs> is take <coughs> excuse me a 1 16th drill bit and drill out this hole a little bit all right so let me hold this right here put in the hole and spin this out I don't want to do it really fast because I don't want to scratch up the uh, aluminum Let me just rinse that out real quick. All right. Hmm. All right. Now you can see the hole. It's not that big of a difference in the hole, per se, but the draw is going to be a lot different. Actually, the draw that was coming out of it from the stock hole was was very tight and I wasn't getting that much vapor the way I like it so let me show you with the air hole opened up a little bit now let's hit it you can see the vapor is a little bit better and the flavor is a lot better personally I like a more airier draw but the 1 16th is not that bad. That's basically the same diameter hole. The Genesis, um, I believe the uh, Did, uh, they all have the same. Um, and mostly every device that I bore out is to the 1 16th. I see people going a little bit more, but I'm totally comfortable with that. And it seems to be working. Oop, it seems to be working really well like that. Let me show you a couple more. You can obviously see the vapors there. Um, now, if you do get one of these and you are having issues with vapor production flavor, uh, my advice to you is to bore out that hole. Uh, bring it out to a 1 16th and try it then. It's not that big of a, that huge of a difference, but it will be uh, more beneficial for you. So, I mean, the NGP, 18650 ring switch is a decent device. This device is under a hundred dollars. Um, you cannot go wrong with that. You look at other hybrid devices that are out there like the Zenesis, the Orion, uh, the iHybrid. Um, what other ones do we have? Uh, there's a few other um, hybrids that are coming out they're very nice machine they're very nice devices and this is a nice device but 
you got to look at it as it's made in aluminum, not in stainless steel like the other ones. So that's going to be cut down in cost a lot. Uh, it's a polycarbonate type tank. A lot of the other ones are glass. Um, so that cuts down. So look at it for what it is. Uh, will it last as long as a Zenesis? I don't think so. But I cannot say it hasn't because we're not there yet. But um, I do like the NGP. It is what it is. It's an under $100 um, hybrid. I am concerned a little bit about the threading being on the plastic tank. That I am concerned about. Um, I just don't want to put this on one day and have it strip out. The area where I'm really concerned is right here. Because when you push down on your battery you got to make sure that your threads are lined up perfect before you start turning it. Because if you start turning it and it's crossed a little bit, you're going to strip them out. I haven't had no issues with it. I'm just speaking what could happen. Um, the design is a little bit different, kind of like the original Genesis, um, kind of like the SS line. The, um, the wick is in the center of the tank. Sort of like the Orion, the Zenesis, um, the iHybrid, the AC9. The wicks are all over to one side. Now what that causes for an issue with this is when you're vaping, you basically have to tilt it a little bit for the juice to go up the wick a little bit. And because it's in the center, you have to tilt it, tilt it that much more. If it was more over to the one side, you could tilt it to there. But because it's in the center, you have to do it all the way to 90 degrees. That would be a 3 o'clock vape, just like that, 3 o'clock. Um, some people have to ask about vaping at 3 o'clock, and some people just don't understand what that is. Vaping at 3 o'clock is holding the device parallel with the floor. And that's right where I usually vape my Genesis devices. Um, sometimes I'll make a wick so perfect that I can hold it just like this. And it'll wick perfect right up the um, stainless steel. Now I can't... Um, I can't vape it back to back to back to back, you know, chain vape it, but, um, you know, if I'm just holding it, I can point it down towards the ground, but I usually do the three o'clock vape. And the NGP at three o'clock vape with the board out hole is a great device. So that's the NGP. I mean... I really don't have nothing bad to say about it. Uh, what I have to say good about it is the price. Uh, it's a great device to take out on the town if you don't want to take your Zenesis out. Um, I do like that the cap is screwed on. It's not held on by uh, O-rings. Um, the switch has a little locking mechanism. Push it down over the O-ring. I probably will be taking off that little sticker there. But it's a decent looking device. Now I did have the red drip tip on there earlier. But um, I can't find it for some reason now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I sat it down now I can't find it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a drink. But that's the NGP. Very nice device. Uh, the way you got to get one is you have to go to the NGP site. I'll leave a link down below and you have to email them. Now, there's also a gentleman over on Facebook or on Google Groups. I'm not sure of his name right now. It's Jim. But um, he runs the USA correspondence. Because this is in Hungary, they don't speak English very well. So they don't deal with the English side aspect of it. 
one makes them and one deals with the sales. That's what I, I've heard. So the guy, Jim, he has been dealing with the USA correspondence and he's been, he'll send you an email when you need to send the payment, send the payment and the device is here within seven business days. Uh, under $100, you can't beat it. So let's get on to the contest. I have the contest for the Phoenix Rebuildable. I am going to be doing the random generator right after this. And please, whoever did win the contest, um, please send me your shipping information and I will send it out to you as soon as possible. Um, I will be doing another video. I'm actually going to be doing the video tonight. It might not be posted tonight, but I have another contest. Uh, the contest is going to be a nice contest, so... Make sure you check out the videos and stay tuned, everybody. Keep vaping. Alrighty, so here we go on the drawing for the Phoenix Rebuildable Atomizer. I'm over here at random.org. And you can see here are all the names that entered the drawing. They are in alphabetical order, but they will random generate. Um, the number one place will be the winner, and that person will then have to contact me via email and send me your shipping information, and I will send it right out to you as soon as possible. So, the winner of the drawing is... Remember, it's the number one place. As soon as I hit randomize, the first place person will be the winner. Here we go. And the person is Devin Moonshire. Devin Moonshire is the lucky winner. So, Devin, please get in contact with me and uh, send me your shipping information, and I will send that out to you as soon as possible congratulations and please stay tuned because later on this afternoon or this evening I am putting out another contest um, and I think I your folks will like this one so stay tuned and watch my videos see you later and keep vaping everybody